Hello, Dr. Lynch here. I have something that I want to share with you that over 17,000 people have said has been one of their most key important things which I've shared with them over the years. And that is the difference between folic acid and folate. Do you know the difference? Folic acid and folate. Folic acid is a synthetic man-made nutrient that is very shelf stable, that is very quickly absorbed and used by the body, but used very poorly by the body. Folate, on the other hand, is a natural form of a vitamin that our body really, really needs, and a lot of, especially if you're an infant, during pregnancy, or growing as a child. Folate is very important. Now, folate is natural. It's found in leafy greens. There are two natural forms that you can get it if you're in a supplement form if you're not eating your leafy greens, and that is methylfolate and folinic acid. Those count as folate. Now, folic acid, again, is synthetic and is not very well utilized by the body. It's well absorbed, but that doesn't mean anything. Just because you absorb it and it gets in your blood doesn't mean your body can use it. Now, in fact, let's take a step further. Folic acid, once you absorb it, there's little guys in our blood which has to carry it. And after they carry it, it has to be bound to receptor, and the receptor is a doorway to get inside your cell. And once it's, the folate is inside your cell, that's when it actually does the work, not when it's in your blood. It's gotta get inside the cell. So you take folic acid. You eat that enriched food. You're all proud because you're taking your folic acid. Then your body absorbs it really well, and then it binds very well to the folate binding proteins, which means it carries it, and then it binds to the receptor, the folic, folate receptor, and that does a really great job. The problem is, it sits there, and then you've got this type of folic acid which doesn't do anything physiologically in your body at all. It has to be transformed by your body in multiple steps. But folic acid doesn't do it very well. It just doesn't work. Now, if you eat your leafy greens, let's, this, is what, this is what happens. Eat your leafy greens, the folate binding proteins bind it, then it gets carried, binds to the folate receptor, gets inside the cell, and the cell machinery can do what it needs. Now, imagine if you're eating a lot of folic acid. What do you think happens? The folic acid binds to these proteins, they get pulled along, blocks the receptors, and now you've got this good folate, you see you had a salad. The good folate, it can't get in the cell. The folic acid is blocking it. Would you wanna eat folic acid if it does nothing to your body and your body has to transform it? I wouldn't think so. It screws up your biochemistry. It screws up how you feel, how you think, how you get out of bed, the energy you have, how you sleep at night. Don't use folic acid. Use what the body wants and needs and demands, and that are, is folate. And folate, again, leafy greens, get them organic, it matters. Organic is key, and wash them. Homegrown is best. Leafy greens are very easy to grow in your garden. Now, if you're in an area where you can't get the leafy greens or maybe you don't like leafy greens, then you can get supplements known as methylfolate or folinic acid. And for more information, you can go to seekinghealth.org forward slash gift and I go in depth on folate metabolism and I show you the biochemistry of it in more detail. But if over 17,000 people said this is one of the number one things that they've changed in their life and has made a significant impact in how they feel and how their kids are behaving and excelling in school, I think it's pretty important I share it with you. So folic acid, garbage can, dark leafy greens in your mouth, or if you can't use that, use the supplements of folinic acid and methylfolate. And to learn more, again, go to seekinghealth.org forward slash gift. And I hope that really, really helps you as it's helped a lot of people already. Thank you.